what's up everyone I just want to make a quick little tutorial I put strap locks on this Fender Squire when I was just starting out I went out and bought them at Guitar Center and I've not been totally pleased with them I think where the the strap bends because it's strapped to your back it puts so much pressure and the way these are designed I'll get a, a close-up a little bit later uh, it was just so much pressure that it would never it would never stay in right no matter what I did the screw kept getting loose and I just don't like it and I use this guitar for traveling for outdoor performances that I'm a little bit afraid my endorsement guitar and the more expensive guitars I have might get messed up so I wanted to get this thing back in operational order have a couple of uses for it coming up here soon where I don't want it to get um, I don't want my more expensive guitars to get messed up. Not that this isn't a great guitar, surprisingly for a little squire, it, um, it plays and sounds really well. So I'm going to go ahead and show you a little tip I learned from a couple other guitarists for changing out your, your strap pins. And I wouldn't recommend doing this on a more expensive guitar. Uh, I'm sure there's probably a better way to do this, but I've heard multiple people say to do it this way. And I'm just going to do it. If you're unsure or you're doing it to a more expensive guitar, spend the money and go have a professional service technician install either strap locks or, you know, original pins if you had one come out, which happens over time. So I'm going to go ahead and get a close-up on the guitar now and show you what's going on. So, you're going to need a few items for this quick little repair. Nothing that any household uh, probably doesn't have. I am going to use a little ratchet screwdriver. Keep this in my gig bag for quick repairs. Going to need some clippers to um, clip the toothpicks that we're going to use to length. Because what we're going to do is take some just regular toothpicks. You figure out how many you need to fill the hole that's already there and we're gonna put wood glue on it and just jam as many in there as you can but I don't want to do sanding or clipping next to the guitar so I'm gonna find out where it stops in the guitar and pre-clip those so I don't have to break them or sand it or anything like that um, at least nothing to speak of then I like to keep these on hand when I'm working on my guitar if you're trying to work in small spaces on your guitar or um, in this case I just don't want to get glue all over my hands L little angled pliers always a great thing to keep on hand I'm going to use this you could use probably a number of things but it was right next to me before I started this video Swiss Army knife the little leather punch on it just to scrape out some of the extra debris in there so that the glue can adhere very well I bought some tight bond wood glue nothing special then I'm gonna use this paper plate just to probably put the glue on and then roll the toothpicks in it before I jam them in there get a nice little coating on there then these are the original pins actually I threw them in the strap lock case um, when I bought it so that if I ever wanted to go back to them I could which <laughs> obviously I did um, and I'm going to go ahead and do that now so, what had happened, the strap lock here is, I'm going to try and hold it up for the camera, but the strap lock sits so far away from the guitar that what happened, all the pressure pulled on it and it kept pulling on that screw in there. And there's so much metal that sticks out from the strap lock just the way it was designed that literally all the pressure over time playing moving around made it so that this thing just pulled straight out um, so yeah we're gonna clean out the hole we're going to measure it out see how far the toothpick goes in there cut them to size and uh, get to work on it and would glue it down so here we go and my camera died so that means now we take a food break. So I'm gonna eat some Hawaiian sweet bread and uh, watch some TV while I wait for the camera to get enough charge to do this video, which I didn't really plan on doing today, but I'm gonna fry that up and make some Hawaiian sweet bread. And...
Woo. Listen to it sizzle. So, I wasn't able to get a full charge, but we're going to try and do this as quickly as possible, hopefully before the camera shuts off. Oh. So, that's not going to work. It's a little too big. Just took off a nice piece of the finish. We're going to save that so you can actually reuse that. Let's get the other strap lock off first. So, just took the center screw out. Pull that out of there. Pull the little pad off. There's a little bit of glue and toothpick right here still left from the first time I did this. This one actually stuck pretty well, but there was less um, bending on it. So I'm going to go get another tool and try and clean up these screw holes a little bit better. So, one of the problems I have been experiencing is as I'm trying to get the screws out, um, or get the debris out, this wasn't, uh, this was too big to fit in the hole, it just was a little bit too big around this end, so I went and got a little metal file, um, it'll do the trick enough for what I'm doing, but as I am getting in there to clean it out, it's actually chipping little bits of the finish around it around the hole. I did a pretty big one up here as well. Right here, it took it off. I saved it. I may try and uh, saw another trick. I don't know if I'm gonna video doing that because I have not tested it and I don't know if it's gonna come out well. But we'll see what it looks like after I get the pins on. It may cover it up enough. But I got out a big chunk of toothpick. Which I'm gonna come around here so I can see the screen on the camera. <coughs> There was a piece of toothpick in here that I was messing with and I was able to get it out. But this right here I don't think the camera is going to focus on it. But you can see the grooves from the screw. This one had actually held pretty well. It's just a little piece of wood that I jammed in there when I put the strap locks in. This one held pretty well. The other one I'm seeing less, um, and you can see the, the screw screws, grooves. The uh, one around the bridge of the guitar, I couldn't get out as um, much debris. I was trying to do it when I turned off the camera a little bit. But... Try and get a little bit out. So I'm wondering if the bottom one didn't have as much to grip, but still, it's so much pressure. I just think it's um, not going to work in the long run. So just kind of get some of that little excess out. Get this little pointy file here. So. It's looking more like wood now than glue falling out. So, take a couple of toothpicks, snip off where it takes the bend. it can go. Make a mark. Just 
cut that off. So now I'm left with this little, little piece of wood. Shove that in there. Fits perfectly. It's almost flush. Once the pin goes on, you're not even going to see that. And uh, I shouldn't have to sand it. So I'll go ahead and do that to the rest of them. So apparently, my camera died again while I was recording, but basically as you can see, I took the toothpicks, measured them out, put some wood glue, jammed them in there, now I'm cleaning up the excess. Alright, so between cameras dying, memory filling up now on top of it all, I, uh, I decided to do a little pre-work while the camera was charging, because um, I haven't been able to give it a full charge, because. I wasn't even going to do this today, and then I just decided to, and I'm running out of time. So, and then my memory filled up, and it's just like, geez. So, I went ahead, cut the toothpicks up. It's taking a little bit less. I'm going to use one of the pointy sides to jam in there. I'm actually going to have to go get a hammer and tap it in after I glue this, because it's, it's really snug up top. I took the bottom, that came out pretty well, the um, glue bonded nicely, it's nice and firm, I took uh, just like a little razor blade and kind of worked over the edges, made it as flush as possible without trying to sand it because you're going to scratch up the finish. So I'm going to go ahead, get the hammer so that I can just glue this in and get right to it. Alright, here we go, back again. so you can see it. Roll it in the glue. Actually, you know what? It's got a little tacky. And that's that. See if I can jam any more in there. Got a little bit more in there. You just want to get as much toothpick in there as you can. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my blade, try and round some of that off. This one doesn't look quite as pretty as the one on the bottom does, but you're working with an angle on the on the top button, so it's a little bit more difficult. And I'm going to try and take that little piece of chip that came off the body while I've got some wood glue out. Just try and set it back in there. Although the, um, the felt that goes in between the button covers it, I uh, want to try and give it a whirl, see if I can get it in there just because once I put these new screws in, I'm never going back and putting this little extra bit of finish in.
Now they said let it sit for 30 minutes and uh, harden. Technically, before you put pressure on it, you should let it sit for 24, but I'm going to let this sit for 30 minutes, which it should be good enough to put the screws in by then. Uh, I will show you quickly the original screws were a little bit bigger than the strap lock ones. I'm not going to be able to see that very well. So, that was part of my problem, but I uh, had hoped these would work in the long run, but I guess not. I won't write them off as a bad review um, of these particular strap locks. I won't say that I, I plan on ever putting them in another guitar, though. So, it sat for about 30 minutes, which is good enough for it to solidify a little bit but I am going to install the strap locks um, thought being the glue if there is any uh, tackiness still will start to uh, adhere around the grooves of the screw a little bit don't know if there's uh, any faulty logic to that but that's what we're doing because I didn't expect this to take as long as it has so I'm just gonna go ahead and put in the uh, the original buttons that came on the guitar and uh, I'm not going to put a strap on it though, I'm going to give it the full 24 hours overnight um, and uh, try that out tomorrow. So we're going to go ahead and screw this bad boy back together and uh, see what happens. Camera angle might not be that uh, good for you guys to see, but I need to make sure that I make this nice and straight, nice and solid. Um, and uh, it's probably going to be on fast forward anyway. So here we go. Well, that should do it. They feel nice and solid. The felt went off a little bit off center. But um, I'm not going to worry about that right now. Um, it still is protecting the wood. And I don't want to back it out. Uh, I might do this one just a little bit. Being indecisive here. So that one's pretty far off. See, I told you these were good to keep around. Alright, now that should truly do it. The felt's nice and centered again. Um, I just didn't like how off it was. The metal was almost touching the wood. And I didn't realize it until I sat down and was like, alright, we're done. So, that should do it. Like I said, I'm going to give this the, uh, the true 24 hours to sit. And then we'll pop the strap on this bad boy and rock her out a little bit. But... I think that should do it. I'm really happy to get back to these pins that feel so nice and solid compared to those strap locks and um, get back to playing this thing and not worrying about it falling off. So that's that. Hey, so I hope you guys like this impromptu video. Wasn't planning on shooting it today, but when I went to go do this, I was like, hey, why not? So anyway, I hope it helps some of you guys and uh, helped you through uh, some of the problems you may have been facing with your pins and buttons and so hopefully this helped if it did and you like what you saw please take a moment subscribe down below and uh, we'll have some more videos some more fun some more covers and performances and repairs and who knows maybe some more cooking so anyway you guys keep on rocking